Afternoon everyone and welcome to another Round of Grounds episode. So I'm back at Hillsborough today for today's match day vlog. Coventry City are in town. It's Sheffield Wednesday versus Coventry City in the Skybet Championship. Another massive, massive game for Sheffield Wednesday. Um, off a, a bad defeat last weekend uh, against Southampton, which I didn't expect anything from. Um, but yeah, this will not be any easier. Coventry on a fine run at the moment. I think they're unbeaten in all competitions uh, in nine or something like that. Um, they've hit, hit form finally after a slow start. Uh, Mark Robbins has been um, really putting teams to the sword. And uh, yeah, they've just picked up um, a good run at the moment. So uh, expecting a very tough game here at Hillsborough today. Um, Wednesday's not bad at home. Um, Danny Rolls men uh, putting up a bit of a fight down there. Uh, in the relegation dogfight so fingers crossed we can put performance and we catch Coventry on a bad day um, but yeah expecting a really good crowd um, obviously Coventry City I think they've sold out their uh, away allocation always a cracking uh, atmosphere from them um, but yeah I'm here to support my boys support Wednesday and fingers crossed we get them points let's get round Dillsborough soak in the atmosphere speak to a few fans Get a little berries, pork sarnie, fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, just enjoy this match day vlog. If you're new round here, please smash the like button, drop a subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's take this one in for the channel. See you soon, guys. Two Coventry fans, what's your name? Alice. Andy. How are we feeling coming into this fixture today? Confident, but yeah. not overconfident. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a dangerous one, isn't it? To start getting overconfident. But form wise, we're, we're yeah. on form. So. Nine, nine unbeaten in all yeah, comps. Yeah, yeah, and only one in the last, God, 17 or something crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, no, we're, we're on form, but yeah. hey, this is the championship. And everybody beats everybody, don't yeah. they? You know? Yeah, and a slow start to the season. Obviously, a lot of clubs could have got yeah. rid of the manager. Obviously, you've stuck with Mark Robbins, been at the club for a while. Yeah, he just you... signed a new four-year contract, which will take him to 10 years if, yeah. he, if he sees it through, which yeah. is amazing. Um, but yeah, he's done a great job. Yeah. Uh, we lost Jokres and Hamer, obviously, last year, yeah. who were everything to the team. Yeah, yeah. And, but with the money from that, we've actually built a strong yeah. squad. So yeah. um, I'm confident that... Yeah. Um, We'll keep this up now and hopefully another playoff season. Let's see. Yeah. You think you'll kick on and get back? And I think so, yeah. Um, we dropped out to seventh, didn't we, after the result last night with yeah. Paul? But yeah. um, let's see today if we yeah, get back yeah. in the top yeah. I'm a Wednesday fan. So. Exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. But um, yeah. no, well, let's see. Who's, who's the man to watch for you guys today? A couple of people, really. I think uh, Sakamoto, yeah. the Japanese guy, yeah, will play on the right fun. wing. Yeah. He's tricky. Yeah. Got all the got all the tricks. Yeah. So we'll see how the left back gets on. Yeah. But um, and yeah, I think just generally we now, rather than last year, it was all about Jokeres and Hamer. This year we are just a very strong squad all round. Yeah, there's not necessarily a standout player. Yeah. So um, you know, I think they're all very good. They've made some really good purchases. So, yeah. um, and they're all now jelling after uh, a like I say, it was almost uh, was it nine. Or 11, 11 new players, I think. Yeah. We lost 11 last year. So yeah. A big following again today. Yeah, we always take a good yeah. following. Yeah. And we're generally pretty noisy, yeah. so there should be a good atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, lots of banter, which we love, don't we? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Lastly, we get a score prediction. We'll go with you. 4-0. Oh, you're welcome for yeah, yeah, no, I, I think I was going to say 4-0, but you guys have scored goals recently, yeah. so I'm going to give it something like a 4-2. Right? Yeah. Yeah, well, we're not bad at home. Uh, yeah. We've picked all, which is good to see. Both teams yeah. are scoring lots of goals, yeah, yeah. so therefore it'll be a 0-0 draw. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Cheers for stopping. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're Oliver, who's a vlogger for YouTube. What brings you to Hillsborough today? Uh, to watch the game. Yeah, yeah. You fancying a Sheffield Wednesday win, did you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How come do you think in a uh, Wednesday win over Coventry? Uh, they've been on good form, taking nine points from their last six matches. So yeah. I think it'll be a 1-0 win to Sheffield Wednesday. I love it. He knows his stats. Do you want to give your uh, channel a little shout-out? Uh, Dollar Vittar. Yeah, so check him out. Give him a subscribe. Uh, great to meet you, my friend. So we're back with Stevie, back with Molly. How are we feeling coming into this game against Coventry? Uh, yeah, feeling all right, to be fair. It's, it's at home, so yeah. um, our home form's been okay, but let's be right, they're, they're no mugs, are they? No. And they, uh, they taught us a lesson on Boxing Day, so not really sure what to expect today, but I think it's going to be a tough afternoon. Yeah. Um, not ideal after last week. Last week was tough. Yeah. Did, Hard you, watch. did you go to the one against I wasn't, Coventry? Uh, no, I wasn't there on Boxing Day either. Yeah. Um, I just thought they, they, there's a lot of quality there, and there's a lot that's a lot that's made in terms of the money that they've got coming in. Yeah. We sold a couple of players over the summer. Yeah. Uh, um We did a we did a, a hello from the other side on the podcast this week, where they were saying that Chelsea might be sniffing around for him, yeah. uh, and they're looking at paying seventy five yeah, million, yeah, yeah. Yeah. where they could have had him for twenty five million. Uh, yeah. Sort of summertime. That's what we're dealing with at the moment. These guys were pushing for, for the Premier League last year. It tells you what we're, we're dealing with this yeah. afternoon. So what will be will be, but. If we're going to get out where we are at the minute, you've got to start thinking that we need to be picking up points at home. Yeah, that's exactly it. So, I sp spoke to a couple of Coventry fans and says, obviously, with the money they've seemed to have recruited and the more uh, a rounded team, more uh, last year they were a bit individual and obviously yeah. relied on them. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be tough here today, definitely. I, th I think so. I, as I said, the, the noise that's coming out of their place is that I think on form, we're the, the fifth best home team at the moment and they're the fourth best away. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so something's got to give this afternoon, and I just thought on par the, the I can't remember his name, the Japanese fella for them. It's absolutely outstanding boxing day. Um, if he turns up today, and they've got they've got a lot of strength on the bench, and I think yeah. that's going to be an issue as well. Yeah. Um, we're very thin at the minute in terms of numbers, in terms of quality coming off the bench. So they might they might run us into the ground for an hour or so, and then bring on their recruits, their refreshment, uh, refresh players, and. We will, we'll see what we've got to bring on. Um, yeah. I don't hold out much hope if it goes down to the benches. Yeah. I've, you lead me on to my next question there, Stevie, to be fair. Recruitment, Danny's had a tough week. Thoughts on that? You think it's a case of Chansuri not backing him or just players just not wanting to come <laughs> because of where we are? I don't think it's anything to do with players not wanting to come because of where we are because I think his reputation is growing. Yeah. Nominated for manager of the month, um, he's, he's coming with a CV. We're, we're recruiting people off the field. People are going to want to come to Wednesday and work with Rule. Uh, Chris Powell, goalkeeper, wants to work with, or goalkeepers might want to come and work with Bibbo. You know, we've got a lot of quality off the pitch, yeah. and I don't see that being a reason that players wouldn't want to come to play for us. Um, there must be something going on somewhere. Yeah. Um, and maybe it's just a case of, you know, the. The, the, the cards all fall into place, the pieces will fall into place when we get further into the transfer window. I know we're coming, we're about halfway through it now. Yeah. Um, bigger teams and teams of others are going to have to get their business done first and it'll trickle down to us yeah, and hopefully yeah. in the next week or so we'll have, we'll have a couple more in. Um, I do worry about us if we don't get a couple more over the line, particularly as rules being quite clear that he's, there are certain players that he finds in, certain players that he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Fingers crossed we do get yeah, bodies in. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Score predictions, go on Molly. I think probably one of Ashley Fletcher scores. Oh, back in Fletcher. She, she yeah. just said on the way down, she says, today's the day for Fletcher. Yeah. And I was like, are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> and you scored this morning, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. World class goal, was it? Superstar, <laughs> like Maradona in '86, weren't it? Yeah. <laughs> Stevie score prediction. Um, head and heart. I'd be happy with a draw today. I just think they're a strong side. I, I think they're on a nine-match unbeaten run. Um, if we can get a point today, it's not ideal, but yeah. I'll take it. Um, it's just something in me that thinks it's going to be a long afternoon. Yeah. I think they can win by two, three goals yeah. today. Yeah. Said that last time I was on. You did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give you podcast a little plug, mate. Yeah, uh, the Wednesday week. Uh, you find us on all the socials, Twitter, X, uh, Instagram, get us on Facebook. Um, obviously, we're on YouTube. Uh, that's ramping up at the minute. Yep. Uh, many thanks to those of you that subscribe recently. If you, if you like our content, you, you engage with it. Don't cost anything. Give us a quick click. Um, got a couple of things in the pipeline that have been announced this week. Uh, working with the community programme here uh, with a couple of charities as well. 
um, to get some Easter eggs out. Um, oh, so we'll keep, a, keep your eye on our socials, yep. give you all the details there. Um, we've had some, some fantastic donations already, so really looking forward to getting that out over Easter. Yeah, great work. Uh, appreciate your time and check Tom him out man. and give him a subscribe. Tom Cheers, Stevie, mate. Cheers, Cheers Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Yes.
So just wrapping up this match day vlog, Sheffield Wednesday 1, Coventry City 2. Um, not much uh, complaining from me, I think, on reflection, I think Coventry City de deserved winners. Um, they had that quality um, that we lacked today, I think. Um, the first time, I think Danny got it wrong, first half with his selection with Fletcher. Um, he just, just didn't offer anything, I think. If he'd have started maybe Bailey and uh, just hounded him a little bit, which he did in the second half when he came in, it um, maybe been a different story. Um, I think defensively, obviously, like to play it out from the back, um, but we just didn't have that press um, that that Bailey offers us, and that Fletcher just does that half press. It's quite frustrating at times if you're going to do it. Um, do it fully, um, especially when he's not not scoring goals. The work rate's got to be there, and yeah, it's just frustrating. But yeah, like I say, no complaints from me. Coventry City going home with the three points. Uh, fantastic away support. Uh, they're on an absolute roll. And now ten in all competitions, unbeaten. Uh, so another three points. So their fans will be absolutely buzzing. And the back here uh, Friday night in the FA Cup at Hillsborough. Um, so obviously we'll try and put that to bed uh, frustrating because obviously looking at results I think they've gone against us today as well so yeah uh, frustrating Saturday for around the grounds and Sheffield Wednesday um, but we move on um, massive shout out to uh, a guy I know in Tenerife he's a massive Coventry fan he'll be absolutely buzzing he'll be putting a, a few uh, webby booms about I know he likes to do that when Coventry win um, if you like your footy, check him out. Um, I'll put in the descriptions, um, Webby Sports Roundup, some fantastic interviews. So, yeah, check him out. Um, great guy, so he'll be absolutely buzzing with a commentary win. I'm sure he'll uh, drop me a message later. Uh, but, yeah, move on now. There's nothing we can do. Coventry, seal the deal and uh, get all three points. If you enjoyed this vlog, please smash the like button. Drop a subscribe if you're new around here and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend, everyone.